What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day, so make sure to check back every single day. We've just hit 20k subscribers, so thank you all so, so much. Let's get to 30k and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. Plenty of free crypto and goodies down there. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and this is probably because you haven't hit the bell icon. Thank you again for all your support. The algorithm is slamming a lot of content creators right now, so we really appreciate all your support. And we're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So make sure to jump into the Telegram and the free Discord. So we're just taking a look at Polkadot here and as we can see, <clears throat> it's looking as if it has basically, you know, it's basically recently it's broken out of this little downtrend that has been in, hasn't it? Basically going, you know, throughout November and December, we did get the breakout and we come down, we tried to hold the 618 here, but we rolled over, lost support and we came down to our next fib level, which was that 050, wasn't it? And you can see here now we're getting a nice little pickup off the bottom again, trying to retest that 618 as resistance at the very least and just trying to get a, you know, a bit of a pickup off the bottom really, aren't we? You can see here potentially we've got a very nice double bottom forming like this where we could get the breakout continuation up towards the upside. Massive bullish divergences all over the place. So pretty clear that we were going to get some, you know, some relief off the bottom at the very least. And you can see overall for Polkadot, you know, it's been underperforming somewhat, hasn't it? The fundamental news hasn't been that ideal. Recently, it does seem as though Polkadot has been struggling quite a bit, basically just to get things going. Like we want to see the chain launched, don't we? We want to see projects being launched on it in a big way and basically the ecosystem developing because we're seeing a lot of layer ones basically run away with things at the minute, aren't we? Avalanche. Solana, etc., etc., and it seems pretty obvious in our opinion that we're probably going to see you know Polkadot do something similar once it gets its stuff, you know, it gets its shit together really because it's not been doing much, has it? To be honest, you know, we've made we've come up and we are making macro higher highs and higher lows, aren't we? But we do need to see Polkadot come up and make a nice run to the upside pretty soon because you know sooner or later things are going to start to cool off in the market, and you know if Polkadot doesn't take advantage, it's probably just going to you know it's going to stagnate most likely, isn't it? It needs to, we need to see those catalysts coming out throughout 2022 to keep the price moving up. As we only just made a new all-time high previously, didn't we? As you can see up around $55, $56 here, we obviously came up to an all-time high of $50. And then we came up, made a new all-time high and then had a rollover like this. So still holding this bull market support though, which is good to see. Here, here and here. We've had three touches of the bull market support and it has all worked out in our favor really nicely. Polkadot looking like it's just consolidating right now, isn't it? You can see our FIB level pulled from high to low, all those levels that we talked about previously being respected here. And uh, right now, we're just waiting for it to see what's going to happen with Polkadot, aren't we? Obviously, it's had a really nice little, you know, bounce off that FIB level. So trading really nice and technically right now. And we are expecting, you know, good things for Polkadot this year because, you know, it's about time that Polkadot and Cardano did something for being in the top 10, you know what I mean? So... You can see here, as we said before, we formed a range. We put actually put this range in a good while ago. You can see the top of the range here, that previous support as resistance. We come down, make the bottom of our range here. We form the range from here to here. We come up, test the bot, test the top. We test the middle, which is the 618. We come down. Now we've tested the low again, which is here and at the 050. And then we've got the bounce here over the you know the past day or so. Looking like we're coming back up towards the 0618. So Overall, Polkadot looking fine, still going sideways on a macro timescale. We want to see more from it in 2022, but we do think obviously Gavin Wood, massively cool guy, awesome, knows what he's doing. And we do think that things are going to you know, improve for Polkadot going into the next two or three years for sure. So short term price predictions, if we roll over here, heading down towards that $24 level, we'd say very likely that we could get a bounce in this area. And then obviously at the 618, we want to see this being targeted. At around that $27 area and the top of the range is where we're heading. That's where we want to be, isn't it? At that $32, $33 area. Basically reversing this whole trend like this with that big W double bottom and then breaking out of the area here and heading to the upside. And then as we said, we do think Polkadot, a really top quality project. Currently at around $26, $27. I mean, we've got a 227 extension at around $350. We're not saying it's going to go that high because the market cap would probably be enormous. But we'd say, you know, $100, $200 for Polkadot. Very, very achievable in our opinion. So I'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, 
please leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon to stay up to date with four videos we post every single day. Remember if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. There are three tiers giving you access to our private Discord, crypto support is available if you just want to help us out a small amount. Crypto Maximalist is our main tier which gives you access to detailed daily technical analysis and signals, weekly and monthly coin calls and insights into our personal moves, while Maximalist Gold takes it a step further, giving you an insight into our personal portfolio tracker, super low cap gem research and a 100x portfolio we're constructing and updating, and access to us personally as a resource to discuss your portfolio via Messenger. Make sure to check it out. You can also sign up to our free Telegram and public Discord via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximus.